Sometimes it makes sense to store files and create records in the hope that they will eventually be used in some way. We're doing it here with this tweet form. We let the user select and upload photos. We then store them on the server and create media records, but we'll only use them only and if the user continues posting their tweet. It's just a nicer user experience because when you think about it, the user is there to upload a photo and then add a comment to it. Not the other way around. So while the user types in the tweet, the files are uploading. Then when the tweet is posted, we'll find those media records and update their relationship with the tweet model. But if that doesn't happen, if the user closes the window without submitting the form for any reason, the media files and records will stay on the server and be of no use for anybody. They will just sit there occupying valuable space. It would be nice to have a way of cleaning up these old unused records and files. We can do that with the help of a custom artisan command that will loop through all the unused media records older than, let's say, a day, and remove them and their files. So let's create that command. We'll do php artisan make and then command delete unused media. Let's open the file, so delete unused media. We'll set the signature to media delete unused. So this is the command that will be executed. So it will be php artisan media delete unused. And here for the command description, we'll just type in delete old unused media. Then on the handle method, this is the method that will be called when uh, we'll execute the command. Here we need to grab all the unused media records. So we'll do media where null model ID. So this will grab all the unused media records where created at older than one day. So it will be lower or equals than now sub day. And here we don't want just to call the get method because if we're dealing with thousands and thousands of records, we might run into PHP memory limit issues. What we want to do is to chunk the results. And this will only grab only 100 records at a time. And here we'll get the media collection. And here we can just loop through the records, so media each and then pass a function and we'll receive the item and delete item. So item delete. And we also need to delete the file from storage. So we'll do storage disk public delete. And here we need to pass in the path to the file. So we'll go to media controller and on the delete method, we need to grab this path. And instead of media, we have item. And since we're using the same path in two places, we can just grab this and create an accessor method on the media model. So we'll go to the media model and add in a similar accessor to this one called get file path attribute and we'll just return this and of course replace item with this. And if we look here is the same thing. So we can just do this file path. And that should work. Let's test the command. But what I want to do is to reduce this time to sub minute. So we'll delete files and records older than one minute. If we go back, we have these two records. If I run the, this command, so media delete unused, php artisan media, go back and refresh, our records are deleted. 
and so are the files, believe me. Okay. Now that it works, it would be nice if we could run this every day automatically, just so we don't have to log into the server and run the command ourselves. We can do this by scheduling the command using the Laravel scheduler. So we need to go to App, Console, Kernel, and if we scroll down we have this schedule method. Here we can set up our command, so media, delete, unused, and have it run daily. Now to test this locally, we can just run php artisan schedule work and it will start a cron job that will execute the schedule method every minute. To set up Laravel scheduler on a server, you need to copy and adjust this command and add it as a cron tab entry. This will run the scheduler every minute and check any pending commands Laravel needs to execute. And that's it. That's how you clean up unused records and files. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and click the bell button. Bye.